G'day folks and welcome to Effective Giving Day 2021. Today we're going to learn about how we can do the most good with our charitable donations, hear the latest updates from charity evaluators and expert grant makers, and then take the time to discuss these ideas with each other. So without further ado, here's giving what we can, sharing why it's important to give effectively and how being part of an effective giving community can help. Have you ever helped someone in need? Then you know how good it can feel. But good feelings and intentions don't always produce the desired outcomes. Like charities, there are millions of them to choose from. And the choice matters because lives are on the line. Depending on the one you pick, you could do a little good or a lot of good. And with some choices, you can actually cause harm. So how can you make the best choice? How can you be sure your donation will have the impact you want and trust that your generosity isn't wasted. Giving What We Can is a community of thousands of like-minded people who are ready to help you maximize your charitable impact. We can help you find the most pressing problems and then identify the most impactful charities working to solve them. We provide the support, community, and information you need at every stage of your giving journey, whether you're just getting started or want to make effective giving a meaningful part of your life. Together, we can make the world better for all its inhabitants for generations to come. We would love you to join us. Join our newsletter to learn more about effective giving. Choosing a cause. If you want to do the most good with your resources, then it can help by starting to identify what it is that you value, what resources you have, and what the world needs. What do you value? You'd be hard pressed to find someone who doesn't value happiness. In fact, many people in the effective altruism movement think that we should be trying to increase the amount of happy life in the universe. This is often articulated by looking at the number, duration, and quality of lives. If you value happy lives, you also need to consider whose happiness it is that you value, and by how much. For example, do you care about people like you, or do you care about all humans alive today, wherever and whoever they may be? Do you just care about the people living right now, or do you care about our descendants and the kind of lives that they might have? Do you care about humans, or do you also care about other animals, from pets to farmed or wild ones? At Giving What We Can, we recommend trying to have a wide moral circle, to value the lives of many without prejudice. You can often have much more impact by helping those whose needs tend to be unfairly ignored. Another important value for you to consider is certainty. Do you need to be convinced by having concrete results, or are you happy having greater uncertainty, but a chance of creating an extraordinarily big impact? How much you value certainty will significantly impact the best approach you take when trying to do the most good. What resources do you have? Different causes will benefit more or less from different resources. We each have many resources that we can apply to important causes, such as our money, careers, volunteering, and our social and political capital. Today, however, we're gonna look at how to do the most good with your charitable donations. What does the world need? Once we know what it is we value and the particular resources that we can personally apply to doing good, we need to match those up with what the world actually needs. We need to find the most pressing problems where our resources can have the greatest impact. This is where a three-factor cause prioritization framework that is frequently used within the effective altruism community can really help. The causes that are biggest are ones that affect many lives and affect them a significant amount. The most tractable causes offer a reasonable chance of making progress. All else being equal, we'd much rather work on a problem that has some potential solutions, or at least has some opportunities for improvement. Causes that are relatively neglected can be fantastic opportunities. More popular causes like those covered regularly on the news may already be getting a lot of resources. Meanwhile, ongoing or less surprising problems tend to be more neglected. You can learn more about this course selection framework and the causes that score well on it at givingwhatwecan.org slash choosing a cause. Choosing a charity. After choosing a promising cause to support, we're ready to select an outstanding charity working in that area. To ensure that every donation does as much good as possible, it's important to support charities that are cost effective. In other words, we should try to determine which charities can accomplish the most good with the resources that we give them. We want the best bang for our charitable buck. These charities are likely to be supported by strong scientific or theoretical evidence, be cost effective, and have room for more funding. 
If you're interested in learning more about the charity selection criteria, we go through it in great detail at givingwhatwecan.org slash choosing a charity. But fortunately, there are two promising ways to rely on experts who've done the work for you. We recommend you use charity evaluators and expert grant makers. Choosing individual charities. Using charity evaluators. Charity evaluators assess charities based on how effectively they use the donations. We particularly recommend following the advice of GiveWell, which evaluates charities working on global health and development, and Animal Charity Evaluators, which evaluates charities working on animal advocacy. GiveWell was founded to help donors find and support the nonprofits where donations will save or improve lives most per dollar. This is the exact position I was in back in 2006. You know, I was a young person, was very fortunate to have money to give away and felt like it was impossible to figure out where to give and be confident that I was, I was having a big impact on the world. And so GiveWell now gives donors like that the ability to put those good intentions to work and use that money to have a big impact on people's lives. Research is the core product at GiveWell. It's what we put out in the world to share with donors to help guide their giving. We spend over 20,000 hours each year looking at academic studies to figure out which programs are the most promising, connecting with organizations that implement those programs to figure out which are the most effective at doing so, and ultimately bringing all of that together to come up with a short list of recommendations that we think can help people the most per dollar donated. They try as much as possible to put numbers to the effectiveness of their giving efforts. I think that's huge for me. Since 2007, GiveWell has directed more than $700 million to its recommended charities, taking zero fees for themselves along the way. And because these donations reach effective organizations, more lives are saved from malaria. More kids are treated for parasitic worms. And more children receive vital nutritional supplements. With GiveWell, we've been able to take some portion of what we're fortunate enough to bring in each year and give it in a really uh, impactful and meaningful way. GiveWell helps take that image of a better world that I have in my head and make it a reality. Like many people, you love animals. When they're suffering, you want to help them. Unfortunately, many different kinds of animals need help, from abandoned pets to endangered elephants. Most of us have limited time and money, and it's hard to know where to start. In order to make the biggest difference for the most animals, it's important to think strategically. Say you have $100 to donate, or five hours of your time to volunteer. What if spending time and money on Project A helps five animals, but spending the same time and money on Project B helps 100 animals? The more impactful choice is pretty clear. But how do you know which projects will help the most animals? That's where Animal Charity Evaluators comes in. We do the research for you. Using our free resources, you can discover the best ways for you to help as many animals as possible, whether you're a volunteer or a donor. Visit AnimalCharityEvaluators.org and we'll help you be the best advocate you can. Giving together. Using funds. You could also donate to a fund. Funds are easy for donors and highly effective. They help donors pull their money together to find outstanding giving opportunities that are evaluated by expert grant makers and trusted charity evaluators. Using a grant making fund is similar to using an investment fund instead of trying to pick which individual stocks will be the best investments. The fund distributes your donation among multiple grantees on the basis of expected impact. GiveWell and Animal Charity Evaluators both have funds that regrant to their top charities this is a great option for donors who value more certainty alongside expert advice. We also recommend other funds that make more bespoke grants, such as EA Funds and Founders Pledge. These are great options for donors who take a hits-based approach to giving so that they can have a higher expected value. Effective altruism funds helps donors to maximize their impact across the four key cause areas of global health and development, animal welfare, long-term future, and effective altruism infrastructure. You can choose your allocation across the funds, donate with cash, crypto, or stocks, and then these expert-led funds re-grant your donations to where they'll have the biggest impact. 
EA Funds is trusted by thoughtful donors around the world and tax deductible in the UK, USA and the Netherlands. You can donate to EA Funds at funds.effectivealtruism.org. Founders Pledge Climate Change Fund. The Founders Pledge Climate Fund gives you as an individual the opportunity to maximize your positive climate impact. This year, we've spent over a thousand hours finding the best opportunities for climate philanthropy and navigating a quickly changing landscape. As a fund, we're able to act quickly. When Biden won, we directly deployed over a million dollars to our top charities, enabling them to engage with the incoming administration. And just last month, we greenlighted a PR grant within hours, allowing a major report launched at COP26 to be featured in global media. We're able to incubate new organizations too. Last year, we did this with TerraPraxis, and this year with Future Clean Tech Architects, an innovation think tank which we think has the potential to largely increase Europe's contribution to global decarbonization. We're also able to act boldly and adapt to this changing landscape. This year, we're making a multiple year globalization grant for the Clean Air Task Force, enabling new programs in China, India, Africa, and in Asia Pacific, where emissions are rising and a large part of our climate future will be shaped. All of this wouldn't be possible without your support. So thank you. Individually evaluated charities and grant making funds are great ways for most donors to give effectively. However, it doesn't end there. Next, we're going to highlight two other innovative approaches to maximizing your charitable impact. Charity entrepreneurship. Every great charity had to start with a small donation. One of the ways to have a huge impact is by leveraging your donation and supporting organizations that are small and underfunded and might be potentially the next most impactful thing. When you think about the Against Malaria Foundation or the Humane League or these massive organizations that are having huge impacts, at the beginning, Funding them would have been extremely high leverage, giving them kind of the ability to expand and grow and eventually have the massive impact that they have today. Charity Entrepreneurship is an organization that focuses on creating organizations with this sort of potential. We do substantial research to brainstorm kind of top ideas and then dig deeper into them and see whether they're implementable and tractable. We scour the globe for talented entrepreneurs who could come together in a two-month program, match it with each other, balance each other's skill sets off, and eventually found a fantastic charity. And then we give them a bunch of support whether that's logistical support, mentorship, or a seed grant. We founded 18 charitable organizations that have received over a million dollars of funding from us and over several million dollars more from other charitable organizations. We think that supporting early stage organizations as a whole has the unique potential to leverage donations in a way that is hard to get anywhere else. This sort of innovative approach and hits-based approach do will result in some misses, some charities that don't live up to have the most impact. But for the occasional charity that does have this massive impact, does become the next top give of charity, for example, uh, the benefits of donating to them and supporting them early is massive. Charity Entrepreneurship has a fund to support these sort of organizations, and we constantly receive donations and constantly keep an eye out for new opportunities that might be the field leaders of tomorrow. Patient Philanthropy Fund. Humanity is impatient. Collectively, we spend more on ice cream each year than on preventing our own extinction. And we neglect our own interests and those of future generations in doing so. The new Patient Philosophy Fund is a first of its kind vehicle designed to compensate for our collective impatience. The fund aims to identify not only what to fund, safeguard, and benefit the future, but also when is the best time to deploy funding. Rather than giving everything away now, the fund pools contributions and invests them to grow and to ensure capital is at the ready when we need it most. As such, the Patient Philanthropy Fund functions as an ultimate rainy day fund for humanity, as an insurance policy for our common future. Effective giving, news and updates from 2021. GiveWell recently shared an update on their progress in identifying room for more funding and their long-term aim to direct $1 billion per year to effective charities by 2025. Their research efforts on malnutrition have shown promise and they expect their funding to this cause to grow significantly in future years. They have also changed how they produce their impact estimates. More details can be found on their website. The Happier Lives Institute has published new meta-analyses comparing the cost-effectiveness of cash transfers and psychotherapy in terms of subjective well-being. They found that Strong Minds, a non-profit that provides psychotherapy to African women with depression, is 12 times more cost-effective than providing cash transfers through Give Directly. This result means that Strong Minds may be on par with the top deworming charities recommended by GiveWell. Open Philanthropy announced they're turning their criminal justice reform program into an independent organization called Just Impact. 
Founders Pledge published a new report on the changing landscape of high-impact climate philanthropy. Charity Entrepreneurship have announced the launch of five new charities. Training for Good. High-impact professionals. Shrimp Welfare Project. Healthier Hens. And the Centre for Alcohol Policy Solutions. Giving What We Can have released their 2021 Effective Giving Guide, as well as many cause area research summaries across the causes of global health and development, improving animal welfare, safeguarding the long-term future, and advocating for effective altruism. Effective giving around the world. For donors in the UK, US, and the Netherlands, it's easy for donors to donate to most of the high impact charities, organizations, and funds mentioned today using effective altruism funds. There are also many country specific regranting organizations that have been set up to help donors around the world donate to highly impactful charities while receiving a local tax deduction or other government benefit. We have an exhaustive list of these regranting organizations available at givingwhatwecan.org slash countries. Australia. Germany. Canada. New Zealand. The Netherlands. Norway. Spain. Switzerland. Sweden. United Kingdom. United States. Make a lasting commitment. So hopefully now you're giving effectively, but you might want to do even more good. In which case we recommend taking a public giving pledge. By taking a pledge, we think you can do even more good than you would by donating alone for three main reasons, commitment, community, and culture. Making public commitments helps us to live up to our values and stick with the goals we might otherwise let slide. Joining a community provides us with the support and advice that help us to follow through with our commitments to helping others. Taking a public pledge helps to inspire others to follow our example. Together we can forge a world in which giving effectively and significantly is a cultural norm. Anyone can take the Giving What We Can pledge to commit to use 10% of your lifetime income to most improve the lives of others. A person on a median income in the US would still be in the top 3% of global income earners in the world after giving 10% of their income. If 10% of lifetime income isn't yet right for you, we encourage you to consider one of these starter pledges. Giving What We Can's trial pledge to donate at least 1% of income for any period. One for the world's 1% pledge to give to GiveWell's top charities. Or the Life You Can Save's variable pledge amount, which is designed to feel like a barely noticeable amount for a year. As well as these starter pledges, there are also more significant effective giving pledges designed for people in specific circumstances, such as giving what we can's further pledge for highly committed effective givers to give everything above a living allowance, the founders pledge for equity holders to donate at least 5% of equity upon a liquidity event, the generation pledge for wealth inheritors to give at least 10% of their inheritance within five years of inheriting it, the High Impact Athletes Pledge for athletes to give at least 2% of their annual winnings to affected charities. Thank you so much for joining us today to learn about effective giving. It's time for a quick recap. We have an incredible opportunity to help others by giving effectively. We can find the most important causes by looking for ones that are big, solvable, and neglected. We can find and donate to cost-effective charities with help from charity evaluators, expert grant makers, incubators, and the international effective giving community. By taking a public pledge, we can do even more good due to the benefits of commitment, community, and culture. Links to all of the information and organizations mentioned today are available in our accompanying blog post, found over at givingwhatwecan.org. There, you can also find information about charity effectiveness, download our free 2021 Effective Giving Guide, and join our community of effective givers. We also hope that those of you who are attending events around the world today enjoy your upcoming discussions and Q&As with our esteemed guests. Finally, I wanna give a big thanks to all our partners who contributed to this presentation, and to all of you who've taken the time to learn more about effective giving. Until next time, keep on doing good. Mm -hmm.